I guess the online's real world too because there's people on the other side. But somebody in the real world asked me what I meant by we're in a hologram. So this I'm gonna just do a series. I'm gonna do ten videos. And I'm gonna put them on a DVD, and I'm gonna hand them out to people locally if they're interested. And if somebody wants this to hand to somebody, that's fine. Um, I can mail it to somebody, or maybe let you download it. So I'm gonna do ten videos right now and record this. So. Here we go. You ready? So see that sign right there? Black, white, and red. See it? See that truck right there? Black, white, and red, that 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 uh, bus. Now, look over there at the one-way sign. See the one-way sign? Way past over there. See it? So we're gonna go back to the basics and this is for somebody in the real world who wants a DVD. Let's see the red versus blue on the street sign. So we're gonna hit the basics. And if they want more questions, I, they can email me. If somebody has a question, they can just email. So the black, white, and red is the blood of his cross. That's the, that's the, that's the base of this whole thing. The lamb slain before the foundation worlds. And see the black and white? We're actually, the black and white is the, the cross. The black, white, and red is the blood of his cross. So red is the blood. Now, so we're actually, the chess board or the checkered board or the game board or whatever you want to call it is the black and white checkered board, which is the cross. So every, let me just say this, and you'll see it if you really want to see it, but every moment's the same time and space don't exist this is like a dream that's around you it's a holographic projection from the cross you're actually living in genesis 3 repeat every day this is video one of ten that's going on a dvd so black white and red see the green green is cane green is the flesh green is the uh, reptilian nature see the red versus blue Blue is law, red is grace, or the blood. So the blue would represent the Old Testament, red would represent the New Testament. And so you got, when you read the New Testament, you see some Bibles have the red. You're in a book, you read a book, a 2D book, but you're in a 3D book. This is a 3D story, and it's a storyline. That's why it's his story. History is his story. Let me, hold on a minute, I gotta adjust my seatbelt. Okay, so we're in a hologram, and the projections from the cross are everywhere. Jesus is the bridge between man and God. There's one meteor between God, man, and Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says. He's the bridge. See these signs? That means sign of the cross. Just type in sign etymology. It means sign of the cross. See these trees? Tree, true, faithful, faith. So you see the cross right here, the black and white. You see faith. You see the red versus blue, which is the law and the grace. And it's also the Turing machine until Christ be formed in you. It's a turning. And so the cycles of time are the sine wave or the sin wave. And that's what's happening with your old flesh and your your old Adam and your new Adam always battling each other, right? And so see those tires right there? So those tires, the, the black rubber represents the flesh. The air in the tire represents the joint airs because the tire is the tear and the tear are the goats. Hold on a minute. So I just passed the speed limit sign. It was black and white speed limit your limit is the cross that's as far as you can understand that's it that's why this thing's created so see the sky's blue you're you're flat you're in the flesh your flesh is dead dead fingernails dead skin dead hair but the same spirit that quickened jesus will quicken your mortal body so more mortgage and morgue and mortal means death so you're walking around in a body that's going back to the grave, six foot under, six foot under, A, B, C, D, E, F. F is man's number. And that's why you're buried six foot under. 
So the blue letter sky law is because you're under the flesh in your natural body. Now in your spirit, you're seated in the heavenlies in Christ. I got two coats on and I'm just feeling like I'm claustrophobic sitting in this. So everywhere you look is the same truth. Jesus is being preached everywhere you look. The trees is faith. I just saw a FedEx truck. FedEx, federal means faith. So you're you're a portal. You're a you're a uh, vessel. You're a you're so on the starboard side, the message is coming into your body ship. On the portal side, you're a portal to give out the message of Christ right here. <clears throat> and so you see the green grass represents the green horns, the flesh. So you're born in the flesh, you're born in sin. And so the, you rise up and you see the grass goes from green and it'll have red tips on it. And they cut off the red. I'll get you to mow your house because they don't want you to see the red, but there's a pattern in the plants, the green, yellow, and red. And so green, yellow, and red. And so the arrow, air, row, the joint air is row. So the phonics fits, the words, the letters, the alphabets, the shape, the colors, the symbols, everything fits into the story of Christ. And so all these signs, you're going down here, sign of the cross, the sign of the cross, cross your finger, cross your heart, cross your, cross your eyes, cross the street, cross with your neighbor. Crux means cross. The crux of the matter is the cross. And I can say the cross of the matter is the cross because crux means cross. And so the crux of the matter is the cross. Everywhere you look is the cross. You got the flesh versus spirit. So the tire, the tear is the flesh. And you can't walk around in a, in a, in a flesh body and be any kind of pro productive at all without the spirit. You can't see the truth, right? Am I okay to drive? And it's in solid red. Solid red. There has to be some blood covering. So as we're flowing here, this represents the blood flow. As I'm speaking, that represents the blood flow because it's the discourse out of my mouth. And this car ship, everything's a ship. This car ship is flowing. Your body's a ship. Your car's a ship. Your business is a ship. Your church is a ship. Your home is a ship. Everything's a ship. The earth is a ship because it's a... It's a vessel to carry this, the spirit of truth through the universe. And then the universe is actually a pocket universe as a type and shadow of really what's going on in the spirit realm. And so the transformers on the telephone pole transform. It's not useful. So it's up there at 480 volts and it has to be transformed down to 240 or 120 because it's not useful. So you are not useful until you're transformed. Right, you got to be transformed. God can use you then. And so I'm coming up on a stoplight and an intersection. So the intersection is the cross, the railroad crossing. And so at the stoplight is green, yellow, and red. Why? Green is Cain. Cain loved the earth, and Cain brought an offering of the earth. Green, yellow is the cross. All, all the colors that are like in the middle and the pastel, they go back to the cross. Pastel, the past tail, pa, st. St is the cross, the snake on the cross. Pa is God the Father, and Jesus is the image of the Godhead bodily. So right there is the red and blue 84 lumber. I used, I used to do design work for them for the trusses. I hated that job, sitting in a cubicle all day. The cubicle, the cube. The reason I stayed poor all my life because I wanted to work with my hands. I hated sitting in a cube. I could have made a lot of money, but the cube life is terrible. It just doesn't fit my personality at all. All right, so this is video one of 10, going on a DVD. See the curves? Curve is turn. See the turn signal? Tick tock, tick tock, tick. As the world turns, turns. As your world around this, it's like a DVD disc. I'm not saying it's flat earth. I'm saying it's holographic. It's like a 
whatever it's it's whatever you can think of already has been and whatever you can think of is going to appear in the hologram you can't think outside of what's already been whatever's been has already what's been shall be and what shall be has already been the bible says that and so you can't think outside of what's already been if you invent something or you come up with some new idea it's not because it's new as god revealed it to you it might be new to others but it's not new to god and it's usually it's always been there it's just new to you just like this message i'm showing you the hologram i'm showing it to you in real time so that intersection i just went through another one i'm going to go through another one so every space every moment of every time is the same and you know it's true because i can tell you the future just right now i'm coming up on an intersection there's going to be a street going this way and going this way how do i know that because i've already seen it you've already seen it all you've already seen it trailers to trail after trailer means to trail after why do they put a movie trailer before the movie comes out it's the word means to trail after the reason there's a trailer after the movie before you watch the movie but after they finish it is because they put it together to trail after but you're watching the trailer before and the reason that you watch a trailer before and it's supposed to be trailing after is because jesus is the i am and he was before you but he was before abraham but he came after abraham everything points back to the bible the biblical stories why are you watching a trailer before the movie starts before you see the movie because jesus was here before this whole movie set move e is the movement movement is mind of e this whole movement here is of the spirit so i gave you i'm gonna i gave you an overview this is a video and so then i'm gonna try to make it break it down into more details to prove it which is already if you got the spirit of truth you know i'm telling you the truth see the red and the blue see there's a red car and a blue car what does that represent law and grace but it also represents the turing machine because god is trying to move you from law to grace and he's trying to move you up out of the flesh mind to the spirit mind and notice these trash cans are green and brown why because that's that represents base nature and that's why they that's why they're always fighting over there and they painted their house green and brown and these trash cans are green and brown the trash cans are green green and brown and they painted their house the same color as their trash can trash can that's why there's always trash in that yard fighting and hollering and screaming because it's the hologram reveals what's going on you can't hide from it you can't hide from the hologram that's why they got a flat tire all the time they have no air in the tire they're 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 not joint airs they're tears tear means what goat that's why they're always fighting that's why they have no peace that's why they're over there drinking all the time they have no peace The reason they have no peace is because they're a peace. They're not whole. The pieces have no peace because they're not whole. They're a piece of the pie. They're not the whole pie. They can't see the whole pie. They can only see their little piece of the pie. So it's not only just a hologram. It's a fractal hologram. And it's a hologram because the word hologram means holy writ. Hollow is holy. Gram goes back to, to written. It's, ho it's holographically written by the hand of one person, which is Jesus. Now, the red versus blue is that that is those AC air conditioners, joint air conditioners. I'm trying to hit stuff I've already talked about, but this is going to be for somebody. I can hand them the video and just hand it to them in the real world. So gray is conveyance. Convey the truth. Your gray conduit, your gray gas line everything gray represents a conveyance those gray dishes represents to convey that chimney's gray that pipe coming out of the gas hot water here is gray so gray is convey to convey something to convey the truth 
and so long story short black white and red here forward means crossing the cross there's the horns um but also you see the flesh versus the spirit and everything so 666 is encoded everywhere but behind it is the blood of his cross so there's the blood of his cross and the truth encoded everywhere but the devil wants you to mankind is the 666 the heart of man is deceitfully wicked if it wasn't for man's heart this place would be heaven on earth already but that's why jesus had to come down here and die for man so everything in front of you is encoded with the truth of the bible see the word sink in sync everything's in sync with the bible because the Bible's in sync with that eternal truth. So his word is forever settled in heaven. It's written in 5D. It plays out in 3D, and the 3D characters, char actors, wrote it down in 2D, and those things of old were written for your admonition today. But it's really a 3D experience based in the 5D, and when you read the 2D Bible, what do you see on every page? Every page of the Bible is the flesh versus spirit. The old Adam versus the new Adam. Cain versus Abel. Every page of the Bible is flesh versus spirit, and everywhere you look at out here is flesh versus spirit. The reason I'm doing this and put it on a hard copy and send it out to some people because I need this needs to be out there when I'm dead and gone and needs to jumpstart some people. The alphabet, A is the blood, B is house, C is agape, rich man chasing a poor down to give him Charity, D is the door, E is the spirit, F is man's number, G is seven, Golgotha, it is finished, H is eternal, uh, I is Jesus, J is Jesus, K is worship, L is E-L, God, M is water, N is the snake and the fish, because the Ninevites and also the Phoenician script, N is the letter, is the word fish, and it's also the word snake, because Jesus became sin for you, he became the snake, the snake nailed it to the cross for you to fish you out. That's why when a woman wears high heels, a, a Jezebel wears high heels, she's trying to pull the man's stature down to her level. But when a, when a saved woman wears high heels, she's trying to rise up to the stature. Because the stature is the state, the upright position. The horizontal position is the whore, the flesh mind. The uh, God made man upright, but he sought out many inventions. And so E-L is L, K-L-M, N is snake, O is uh, wind and window, and it's also the, 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 the female womb, O-P, P is the seed, the pa, the birthing, Q-R-S, T is Christos, Christ, Q is those who follow after, little Q's, following after the big Q because Jesus was the forerunner. Q, R is, R is royalty. S is the integrating or the summation, integrating all mankind back in through the cross. T is the cross. U is like shaped like this. U, v is to cut you back in. Double is a double of you. So you're, you're walking down here in this flesh cre creation but you're seated in the heavenlies double you you have two two states you're walking down here but you're also in heaven in in christ double you x is to take up your cross y is up y is the letter u up on a post so you move from a u to a y ye y e is ye so y is raising up by faith Z is a boomerang, but it's a weapon. And so you stand, therefore, having your loins girt about truth. So the Z, A to Z, is the whole pie, and the alphabet actually gives you the history of the creation. Q, R, S, T, Christos, T, U, V, W is 666. Uh, you could just go on and on. I already did that a long time ago. So notice the mirror image of those two houses. You can just flip it and it's the mirror image. That's the Twix commercial. A or B, left or right. So when people face off, that's the red. That's why you see 
the football teams and basketball teams have red versus blue because they face off with each other. And eventually they'll say, you're just like me, or I'm just like you. And so the red versus blue is the Turing machine to see, so that you could see the other other person and have compassion on the other and say, oh, well, that's just that's me at a different state. So when you watch a movie or a TV show, you're looking at different versions of yourself. When you talk to another person, you're looking at a a different version of yourself. They just chose a different path. So that is the metaverse. That is the real metaverse because each person is per the sun. And so when you look at a person, it's per the sun. And so each person is a different version of yourself because they're different versions of Christ because Jesus is the pa. And he spread his seed. That's why the, the, uh, the grandfather, the father, and the son, and the grandson they all start to look alike because it's a, it's a seed following after. And so everything's following after Christ. He went to the cross. The sine wave, the music, everything is a sine wave down here. And the secret is to rise above the sine wave and be stable and don't let the waves of earth mess with you. That's what's happening. And so now the next nine videos, I'll take different pieces and try to all this is DVD is going to be is just a jump start, somebody. It should be easy. I'll take all these 10 videos, burn them to a DVD disc, make copies, and just send it out. This should be easy. 666, right there on the barcode. That's the 6. The middle one's a 6, and that's a 6. But notice, yes, yeah, 666, but notice the black and white is the, is the cross. And the flow, like when you scan this, it's got a red scanner, the blood of his cross with a red barcode scanner. And so the blood of his cross is being preached, but you also see the flesh mine right there. So really quick, you're going to see 666 everywhere, which will depress you. But then when you wake out of that, you're going to see the blood of his cross everywhere. And then you're going to see Law and grace everywhere, flesh versus spirit everywhere, the story everywhere, faith everywhere, the cross everywhere, the flow everywhere, cut is the cross, turn is verse, the verse is everywhere, union everywhere, everything's about union back to Christ, everything is union, I have to grab this, have union, everything's a union back to Christ, flow is the blood flow, the discourse out of your mouth or as you're walking, any kind of flow points back to the blood flow. The currency between the, the bankers is no different than the current between the banks and is no different than the, the current in a circuit and is no different than the current coming out of your mouth and it's no different than the currency, the Bitcoin currency. Everything has to move and flow because the blood has to flow because if the blood stops, if you don't have the blood covering, then this whole thing is destroyed. That's it. Welcome to the Matrix, Neo. Neo is the one. Neo. Neo means the one. Neo is also eons, the eons of truth. And it also is Noah. N-O-E is Noah. That Look it up. You think I'm joking? Noah's original name is N-O-E, Noah. The one, the one that's called out, the one that was saved everybody, the one that went through the flood. You are the one if you enter into the mind of Christ because you're following after Christ. But just Jesus saves, Jesus alone saves, but you follow in his steps, taking up your cross and following. So the Neo gets his true identity in the one, and then he becomes a mirror image down here of the one in heaven. And so I'm not saying you're God or saying you're Jesus, but I'm saying you're following in his steps, just like your father was there before you, and you look like your father and sons of God. Jesus is the son of God, but Jesus is God. You are sons of God, so you have the nature of the son of God, which is the nature of God in you, which is the earnest spirit. But that doesn't mean that you're God. 
just means you have his nature and you have the earnest right now. But when you see Jesus, you'll be like him. And so this is why the gifts of the Spirit are real, and it's just a matter of exercising those gifts by faith. Because actually, the Spirit is more real than the natural. This seems real, but it's not. The Spirit realm is way more real than the natural. This is temporary. All this is, everything in front of you is going to burn up. So if it's all going to burn up, that means it's not, it's not, it's not really real. This is a simulation. So not only is it hologram and not only is it a fractal hologram, it's a simulated fractal hologram because this is just a training program, simulate, just like you learn a new trade. You do it over and over and over and over and over. You trade over and over and over. You learn a skill over and over and over till you get good at it. You paint a house till you get good at it. So it's a simulation to train you to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh, take up your cross daily. And it's to move you from the flesh mind. So all these objects are object lessons hitting your eye gate, your ear gate, and all your five senses to move you to the spirit mind because there's no nothing new out here. The only thing new is the newness inside. That's what's happening.